Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. Got another video for you today showing you uh, the reusable blocks in the Gutenberg editor and how you can use it to create global elements across your website throughout your blog posts that will enable you to really take control of certain call to actions and uh, that sort of thing throughout your website. Now this could even be used for things like uh, Google AdSense ads and that sort of thing where maybe you have a single ad code and you want that to pop up in particular sections of your posts. You can create reusable blocks that you can simply place throughout your website uh, and take control of you know, the placement and that sort of thing. But what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm actually going to create a link to my Start Here page, which enables people to sign up and there is a free course there on how to start a website, which if you wanna to go to my website, willbuildyourblog.com, you're welcome to sign up for. But in this video, I'm just gonna uh, use that to show you how you can use reusable blocks to create these call to actions throughout your websites uh, globally and then ha be easy to update in the future. So I've got two posts open, this one and this Google Analytics post. So I'm gonna edit this Gutenberg block editor web uh, post, but first I'm gonna right click and copy the link of my start here page. And then I'm going to edit this post. So I've got this post open and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the footer and this can be inserted anywhere on the page. As you can see, I have a reusable block here. I've actually got some throughout just uh, to, as a YouTube uh, consent for GDPR, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here. I'm going to click enter, and then I'm going to simply add a sentence. If you would like to start your own website, please see our start here page. Nice and simple. I'm going to highlight the start here, add my link. And at the moment, we've just got some basic text there in a text block. But what I'm gonna do is because it's a bit of a call to action, I want to, I'm gonna add an image and I'm gonna make this block a bit colorful, which is something that's really easy to do with the Gutenberg editor. So while I have this block highlighted, I've got the block section uh, settings down the right. I'm gonna click on color settings and I'm gonna give it a background color. So I'm gonna click on this color wheel, go to red, I'm not gonna make it that kind of red and just give it like a faint red color, maybe yeah, something like that. Just something that's gonna work on the page quite, quite easily. So now I've got this highlighted section here. If I really want to, I can change the text color to red. I'm not gonna do that though, I'm gonna uh, clear that. I can make the uh, text larger, medium, small if I want to. So I can actually use all these display settings in this reusable block as I would a normal block in yeah, in WordPress. So I've got my paragraph, but I've decided I also want to add an image. So I'm just going to, I've got an image saved here. I'm gonna click this plus button above the block, click on image, go to my media library. I have an image I have here from Pexels, which is a royalty free image, and I'm gonna add that in there. So this is our little call to action, a picture of a girl using a computer with a, if you'd like to start your own website, please see our start here page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn these two into a reusable block. Now, if you want to just add one block, it's quite easy. You click on the block, you click on these three dots here, and you add to reusable blocks. But what I like that's really cool about this editor is if I say click in here in the text and highlight up, I've actually selected both blocks. Now, if I click on the three dots at the top left here, I can add to reusable blocks. I can give it a name start here CTA for call to action. I can save. And now I have a reusable block here on the page. So I'm going to click update. And then I'm going to view this post. Now if I scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see I now have this little call to action, it's a picture. Obviously you might want to design something more specific. You could even have just a picture with a link and have a little start your own website, see our start here page. So that is pretty basic. And you can even name these, you can even name uh, blog footer and simply add it to the bottom of every post that you create and um, take control of these sections. But this is where the power of it is. Now I have only got this on this one page at the moment. So if I go up to my tabs over to my Google Analytics post, you'll see it's not there when I go to the bottom. But if I edit this post,
Maybe this time I don't want to add it in at the bottom. So I'll temporarily add it within the text here. So I'm going to click the add button here, or you can simply click here to add to the bottom of the page. But I'm going to click the add button here, scroll down to reusable. Now that sometimes takes a second to load. Now if I click on reusable and drop down, I've got a few here, but to start here, CTA is the one I've just created. It has a little preview there, which isn't a, it isn't a great example. But if I click here, it'll actually add that block on the page for me. So I'm going to update this page, view the post, and now if I scroll down, you'll actually see it there in the middle of the page. So I can put it anywhere I want, I have control over that, and if I click here, it's uh, like a nice little call to action to my email, email list. So that's how powerful it is, is that the fact I can just simply pop it into other areas. But this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Let's say I want to change this for whatever reason. Maybe I want to change the text. I want to change the image. If I come over to my Gutenberg, it doesn't really matter which blog post you edit. But if I edit this post, scroll down to the bottom, here's my reusable block. I can click on this and I can click edit. So now I can even add blocks within that block. So maybe I want to add a heading, subscribe. Maybe I want to change the image. So maybe it's this image here. And then maybe I think, well, the red's a bit annoying. I don't really like the red. So I'll actually go to this block here and change the color to maybe a light blue, a bit lighter than that maybe. And I've actually got a few options there. This this link will remain red, not a big deal. But so now I've got a blue block. I do have to save this as I go though, so I'm gonna click save. So that's a mistake I have made just then is just to highlight that. I didn't do it on per I didn't do it on purpose, it was purely by accident. As I change each block, I do need to save. So let's go back, click this image, save. Now this time I want to add that uh, section in there, click edit again, add my heading, subscribe, Oops. add my heading, subscribe. Okay, it's not letting me add the block, but you get, you get the basic idea. I can convert this to a classic if I want to, um, or add, you can add in blocks, but I'm having a bit of trouble with it right now, not a big issue. But you can see here how I've changed the image, changed the block, and I've saved this reasonable block. The block's been updated. So if I go up the top to my Google Analytics here, I've got the old, I haven't refreshed the page yet. If I refresh now, you'll now see the block has changed. I've got my new image, I've got my new text. So I can actually change this as I go along quite easily and get the, get get this looking the way I want to. If I want to go back, I can click edit again, click on this. Maybe I want to try and get rid of this image and just have that save. Now go back over here, refresh. You see now we have no image. So You've got a bit of freedom to change the this section and make it the way you want to look. So if you decide you want to get rid of something or change a bit of text, you can do it and it'll happen site-wide. So I've actually edited this post. It's a completely different post. As you can see, it's just updated here. It's updated there. So if I actually edit this post instead this time. Now, if you get to a point where you don't want these blocks on your site at all, you've decided that reusable block, I just don't want it, I don't want it on any of my blog posts. If I scroll down and find it, I can click here and remove from you reusable blocks. And it says here, you sure you want to delete this reusable block? It will permanently be removed from all posts and pages that use it. I click OK. And it's gone. Update the page. Now I view this post. And the block is nowhere to be found. But I go back over here. 
because I haven't refreshed it, we're still down the bottom here. I refresh this page. And it's completely gone. So you can add blocks, populate them throughout your site, change them whenever you want. And then if you do want to get rid of it altogether, simply delete the reusable block and it'll be gone from all of your posts. So it's very easy to use. And if you do get sick of it, there isn't a very clear, easy exit strategy to get rid of them from your website. So it's just a really handy tool for um, especially call to actions, maybe in post ads if you're selling ad space like I do on some other niche sites, not this particular site. Um, yeah, it's really handy, really easy. If you want to add it to the footer of your, your page, you can sit, do that. There are probably better better ways to have something at the footer of each post um, using, a, using a plugin that'll add it in automatically to the bottom of each post as opposed to manually adding it in yourself. But this is a very powerful tool for picking where within your content you want something to be placed. So I hope you found that video uh, useful and um, I hope to see you again next time. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or even consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you want to see more like this uh, or even clicking that bell icon. Um, otherwise, if you are looking at starting a website uh, or learning about how to blog and generate more traffic or make more money online, I do have a start here section on willbuildyourblog.com. So check that out. It's a free email list and I'll send you all sorts of information on how to make that happen. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.